A maximum security inmate back behind bars tonight after escaping from the McCormick Correctional Institute yesterday. Investigators say 47-year-old Michael Allen Williamson made it all the way from McCormick to Columbia, where they believe he stabbed a police officer. Then he made it to Lexington, where he was finally caught trying to break into a school around 11 o'clock this morning. Alma McCarty joins us now. And Alma, the question a lot of people want to know is how this could have happened. This is not an easy place to just walk away from. It isn't. First off, it's not common for inmates to escape and even less common for them to escape from high security prisons. There have been 11 other inmates who've escaped from South Carolina Department of Corrections facilities this year and all but this one from minimum security prisons. It's still under investigation, but the theory now says Michael Williamson likely got away on a food truck. He was caught this morning, decked out in black clothes and a black stocking mask. Because the whole operation of the institution changes when there's an escape. Carolyn Barrett would know she spent 11 years as a corrections officer at a level two institution in Trenton. Only once in her time did an inmate get out. The sad thing is he only had six months left on his term. And, and he was only out there 10 days before they captured him. So he got 12 years added to his term. He went over the fence lined with razor wire. On most occasions, she says this is how inmates attempt a getaway. What the inmates do is layer up with clothes where they have seven or eight layers of clothes and they don't get cut as bad. Different institutions have different policies, but there is a roll call. The inmate stands up, says his or her name, gets an ID check in a correctional facility of more than 1,000. At 8.50 last night, officials say Williamson was nowhere to be found. Although he was in for life, Carolyn says it's not going to get any easier now that he's been caught. After uh, he is picked up, uh, he will go to a different institution, a different level institution. So he gives up an awful lot of privileges. As far as notification, the South Carolina Department of Corrections doesn't have a way of notifying local areas of an escape. They let law enforcement know, however, so they're on high alert of what's going on. But good news, he is back behind bars tonight. Thanks for that, Alma. McCormick County Correctional is a level three facility, and that's the top level of security under the South Carolina Department of Corrections. That means they house violent offenders with a lot longer sentences, as well as inmates with behavioral problems. It also means surveillance is way stepped up, and all of the perimeters are double fenced.